Staff commander was the worst job in the camp. We were not leave the camp. We were always supervision, we were severely punished. And I will give you one punishment that happened to me that everybody gets it. Didn't get the same punishment. Sometimes they had a place to lay down at a, like a, a bench like and tie him up and beat him with a very fine stick till the skin broke. And that wasn't just Jewish. We were all different nationalities. Jewish, no Jewish, didn't matter there. You were a human being. One day we stayed, our uh, head counts inside the barrack. The SS men came in with a loaf of bread and they called 72115. That's me. I stepped forward. The SS men said, I want you to eat that whole bread and don't leave a crumb. Of course, I said, yes. Then he says, good. And he told the people behind me, processed, go ahead, set it up. The rope came down, tied my hands, they lift me up, put on a chair or chair or some kind of a stand, and I hung. I don't know the time I hung because if my, between my, my chest and arms and back was destroying, it was killing me. But I did do the best I can to bite my tongue and, and just because it was the process with more beatings or something. But I didn't. I woke up on the, on the ground wet and there he comes with a loaf of bread about five feet away from me or something. He says, Heffling, prisoner, take the bread and start eating. And I looked up. The bread was about distance of three to five feet away. I couldn't reach it and I couldn't crawl. My hands were paralyzed. No, you know, can move it. And plus the agony of my pain. And he said to me, God damn it, verflucht noch einmal, God damn it, you refuse to eat, take the bread from a, Poly, from a German officer. Well, they warn me, when he does that, keep your head up, don't keep your head down, he's going to step on your head. Well, as much as I could hold my head up, it's my barely touched, his chin touched the ground. And he screamed at me that I refused to take the bread and eat from a German officer. He was walking around me, walking around, and I just heard his steps. I didn't turn, I couldn't turn my head. He finally left and he was laughing and did a cigarette, you know, and I watched and he left.